Glaber Torres' hobbled departure from Sunday's game didn't initially look promising, but the Yankees believe their second baseman likely has avoided a serious injury. Torres fell down while taking his secondary lead and got doubled off third base on Aaron Hicks' strikeout to end the ninth inning of the Yanks' 6-3 win in 10 innings over the Astros at the stadium. He was helped off the field and removed from the game with what Aaron Boone said afterward was a minor ankle sprain. I think we dodged a bullet there. He caught his spike and kind of rolled it there at third, Boone said. I'm hoping it scared him more than anything. We'll see what we have overnight and, Monday, but I don't expect it to be serious. Torres had walked with one out in the ninth before stealing second and advancing to third on a throwing error by catcher Jason Castro. He has one hit in his past 18 at-bats after going 0 for 3 on Sunday. Aroldis Chapman, Achilles, worked a scoreless seventh inning Sunday for the double-A Somerset Patriots against Hartford with one strikeout. He could be activated as early as Monday or Tuesday. Domingo German, shoulder, is scheduled to pitch for Somerset on Tuesday. Jonathan Loisiga, shoulder, is slated to throw bullpen sessions Monday and Wednesday before possibly facing live batters on the weekend, Boone said. The Yankees' 16 hitless innings between Friday's 8th inning and Sunday's 7th tied for the longest hitless stretch in MLB since at least 1962. No team ever has pitched a no-hitter or been no-hit in back-to-back -back games, although the St. Louis Browns did it to the White Sox on back-to-back -back days in 1917. Ernie Coop tossed a no-no on May 5 with Bob Goon completing his gem in the second game of a doubleheader the following day.